Units of temperature are kind of interesting because there are three main types of units that you're going to see and they kind of interchange quite a bit. Remember temperature is really a measure of kinetic energy and matter and kinetic energy is due to motion so when we say something has an increased temperature that literally means that the atoms or molecules inside of a substance are vibrating or moving faster. So when we talk about temperature we're talking about kinetic energy when we're talking about kinetic energy, we're talking about motion. So when we say something is hotter than something else, it means that the atoms and molecules in there are vibrating or moving around quicker. So here in the US, we use the Fahrenheit scale and most of the rest of the world uses a Celsius scale. And the Celsius scale is defined as water freezing at zero degrees C and boiling at 100 degrees C. And there's, there's some, um, there's some dependence on atmospheric pressure, as you might know, but this is the standard idea. The problem with the Fahrenheit scale, scale and the Celsius scale is that both of these scales allow for zero or negative temperatures, and that's going to be a problem when we start doing calculations. So we're going to solve that problem here in just a second. In order to convert degrees Celsius in degrees, into degrees Fahrenheit or vice versa, we have to use an equation. And so this is traditionally the first equation that we really use in chemistry. And it's just a, um, a simple equation. So here is an example. I say uh, something is 45 degrees C. What's the temperature in Fahrenheit? So we're going to see this time again. We're going to be using quite a few equations in uh, chemistry. The first thing you want to do is include any variable data that is given inside of the equation. So here's the equation that we're going to be doing. The given is that we're starting with 45 degrees C. So I'm going to insert the 45 degrees C into my equation. And uh, this is what we end up with. Then you want to solve for the unknown number. What we're looking for is degrees Fahrenheit. So this is degrees Fahrenheit. We would now want to solve this algebraic equation for degrees Fahrenheit. So the next step is I want to get rid of this 1.8 on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 1.8. So here on the right, that will get rid of the 1.8. On the left, we take 45 and multiply by 1.8. Um, this is what we end up with. Then I want to get rid of the negative 32. How I do that is by adding 32 to both sides. Uh, on the right-hand side, that gets rid of the negative 32. On the left hand side 81 plus 32 gives us 113 and that's our answer. So this says that 45 degrees Celsius is equal to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So the Kelvin scale um, has come about and what they did there is to avoid zero or negative temperatures in our calculations. They set the Kelvin scale up to ass um, assigning zero Kelvin as the lowest possible temperature. And we will talk about how uh, did people know that 0K was the lowest possible temperature. And uh, we will get to that. How did they get the initial idea? But by doing this, it says that all other temperatures um, will never be zero and they must be some positive number. So to convert um, degree C into Kelvin, and you're going to be doing this quite a bit, you take degree C and add 273.15. The reason why is zero degrees Kelvin is equal to negative 273.15 uh, degrees C. And this is also equal to negative 459 Fahrenheit. So we're really not going to be using Fahrenheit. This is probably going to be the last time that you see it inside of this um, uh, textbook. We will be um, doing quite a few conversions. And the reason why is most thermometers that you use inside of the lab are um, in uh, degree C. So most calculations will be using Kelvin, most thermometers will be giving you degree C, so you'll, you'll be doing this um, conversion quite a bit. And fortunately, it's pretty easy. If you want to go from degree C to K, you just take degree C and add 273.15 to it. So here I have uh, an example. I have uh, measured a thermometer. It reads 53.00 degree C. I want to know what the temperature is in Kelvin. I add 273.15 to it. So 53.00 degrees C is equal to um, 273.15 Kelvin. And uh, just on the side, for uh, some reason, they don't put a degree sign in front, in front of Kelvin. So we don't say degrees Kelvin, we just say Kelvin. Whereas with degrees C in Fahrenheit, we say 53.00 degrees C. 
We don't do that with Kelvin. We say uh, two, 326.15 Kelvin.